This evening, me and the girls are going to do a mukbang together, aren't we? Well, mukbang, as some people call it. Darren decided that he'd have a boys night on his own in the bedroom and we're going to have a girly night. And we've got... What have we got, girls? Burgers. Sandwiches. <laughs> we've got burgers. These are vegan burgers, which are made out of, like, soy mince. And then we've also got some faux chicken in there as well, like chicken strips. So this Ooh. is a burger inspired by a local restaurant here called Bio Loco and they have like a burger bit in it and then like loads of fake meat. Ooh, really nice. And then also we've got loads of fries here as well, which I baked in the oven. So fire, fire. A really delicious meal for you to come home from school for. We've also got yes. some barbecue sauce and also some tomato ketchup as well. Tomato so ketchup. feel free to tuck in. Me and Sin have been waiting ages and ages for this because Mia finishes school later. So we've just been sitting there really hungry, haven't we? Yeah. But we've been patient. Yes. We resisted eating, Mia. Thank we waited you. for you. Thanks. So tuck in, much. tuck oh, in. Oh. Mm. Can I have some sauce? Oh, yeah. Do you want, do you want to put some sauce in yours, you know? Yeah, of course. Should we make you do it? Uh, yeah? yeah? Which bit do you want it on? Uh, top bit, maybe. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to put some in mine. <laughs> it made Not, a funny noise. I don't think you should do it on that. Mia's burger's top is broken. There you go, Mia. Mm, I love you. barbecue sauce. And then we've got loads of fries there. I've got yes. forks there for us girls. I'll just put some out of ketchup on that. Mia, Mia, I'm the gov. We're filming a video this morning, aren't we? Mm -hmm. A morning routine. It's a perfect example for perfect morning, but it actually wasn't. A perfect morning, was it? No. Mia missed the bus, mm -hmm. didn't you? Yeah. Even though you were there on time, it wasn't there. And then, so we decided to get a taxi, didn't we, for school? Yeah. Which is out in the countryside, really far away. The taxi man didn't know where it was. We gave him the directions, which were on um, Google Maps, and he still didn't know where it was. We had directed him yeah. through the countryside with my limited Spanish. His limited English, like really manic, wasn't it? He's a lovely guy. Yeah. We were trying to say left and right in Spanish, but he kept stopping and having to turn around on his right. We were driving beside mountains. And at one point, that restaurant we went to, mm -hmm. the restaurant we went to, which is the highest point probably on the island, he he took a wrong turning and he was like, are you sure the school's up here? And I was like, well, yeah, it says it on Google Maps because I was getting muddled up. And basically, we were going up that really high mountain and that wasn't even where your school was. I was yeah. looking down and going, are you sure? I was looking down and just could see a big volcano crater there. And basically, you were suddenly saying, mum, my school faces this mountain. It's not on the map. We were basically, what were you thinking? Was that when I said, to, like, when I said on your first day of school, I told the lady to go take you to Elcourt Ingles? <laughs> was it like that? So I basically told yeah. him to go up that mountain with the restaurant <laughs> at the top. Right, yeah. crazy. Really expensive taxi drive. Really crazy, really stressful. So that morning routine we showed you, what was going on behind the scenes? It wasn't that at all. It was literally manic. Yeah. Yeah. In a way, we wish we were vlogging it because it was it was funny and crazy. But anyway, how was it when you got to school? Because you were obviously a bit late, weren't you? Because because the, the taxi driver driving up the mountain. It was fine. The lady when I walked into the school, mm -hmm. the like reception lady was walking past me and said uh, that I missed the bus and yeah. then the taxi got lost. And oh. she was like, okay. And then she was like, just go to class. And I just went to class and just. Carried on okay, my that's good then. So, did you have a good day then, Mia? Yes, I did. And guess what happened today? What? Everybody was saying I was famous. Famous? In England. <laughs> yeah. At home? Because I told them about YouTube and then they said I was famous in England. <laughs> they were like, you got 3,000 followers on Instagram? For some people, that's not even a lot, is it? Yeah. 3,000. Oh, that's so sweet. Mmm, this burger. It goes so good, it's by fries by the way. School. Stop, mm. Well my English teacher said to me, mm -hmm. I got homework mm -hmm. and then she said to make you think I'm the most horrible teacher ever, I got more homework for you. You go in the playground? Mm hmm Yeah? Do you get yeah. to be in the sun? Yes. In the playground so do they have sunbathing chairs? No, but everybody thinks huh? it's really cold mm. and they're like standing there shivering. Really? Wow, that's mental. Over here it's like 26 degrees. Oh sorry, it's like between 20, I've got hiccups now, and 26 degrees. To us when we're from England, that is really, really hot. Oh, I've got hiccups. <laughs> oh, look at Sienna. I'm a vampire. Mm -hmm. Oh, for lunch. Oh, sorry, the sun's in my eyes. Mum, are these edible? Show me. Is that better? 
Yeah. Oh, that's a bit better. We've sort of got a bit of lines across us there, haven't we? Yeah. From the shutters, but it's better than the sun being right in our eyes. Is yeah. that nice, Sienna? Mm -hmm. I finished my bed with that. Mm. Yeah, so basically what I had for. Yeah, what a bit is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this basically. is what kind? Yes, it's one of the some of the chips I've got burned. Yeah, basically, for lunch, I had like the seitan. I, mm. At first, I thought it was bread, but it's like really nice seitan and then rice. Ah, seitan. Vegetable soup. Oh, yeah. Did you? Hmm. Have the same thing then. And then bread. I have bread. That um, sounds nice. Bread, the same dinner. thing. These burgers, by the way, are Asian flavour. Asian. Mmm. Now that you say that, I can really taste it. <laughs> the mm. spices, like Chinese five spice. Mm. Isn't that always funny when you, when someone tells you it's got a flavour, then you can always immediately taste it like yeah. like that. Like I said, we got we had bread in school and bread for yeah. dinner. Then I I bite in into my uh, what is it called burger, and then yeah. I could taste bread. Mmm. Friday night's gonna be our like treat night, guys, where we'll have like burger night or pizza night or I don't know something fun. Look. Mmm. Do you want any more chips, Mia? Yes, please. There you go. Were you getting worried then when the taxi was going up the mountain? A bit, yeah. I didn't notice till you pointed out the window and I was like, oh, oh look Mia, you get to go up this every day. And I'm like, uh, no I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's only talking about, so actually when you come to the restaurant, you just go up and turn around and that's all that's up there. What are you doing? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing. A bit funny sitting on the floor. We thought we'd sit here because better lighting. Yeah. Even though we've got blind faces. I don't know. <laughs> loads of shutter marks on our face. <laughs> I mean you're sitting on a bolster cushion. Is this a bolster cushion, guys? Look. That. That is what we're sitting on, this like round thing. And it's, oh, it's, it's a bit, sliding. a little bit uncomfortable, isn't it? Oh, careful me, you've got to eat your dinner up. Come on. Need your food after your hard day. Do you want me to put a little bit of sauce in there? Do you want a little bit of sauce? <laughs> you have got quite a lot in there as it is. You haven't even touched yeah. the chips, you me? No, I have some. Have you? Yeah. Some of them have got a bit burnt. But nobody knows that. These burgers are so nice. So are you making friends at school then, Sienna? Mm-hmm. How many friends you've got? Uh, just a little girl and a little boy. Yeah, because the other day when I picked Sienna up from school, their little boy came up to her and hugged her and they said goodbye. That's so cute. Right, I think that's her new little bestie. What was his name? Uh, I did ask, but I forgot. Oh, okay, don't worry, you'll remember. Sometimes it is hard to remember people's names. You just got to not let it get out of hand. This one time, my friend was this lady years and years ago. My friends for ages and I couldn't remember what her name was we'll after telling me and it got to the point where I didn't want to have to say, or, excuse me, what's your name? So I met up with her loads and done loads of stuff. I know that's really silly for me, but now I would just say like, sorry, excuse me, but I've forgotten your name. But at the time I just went all weird and all shy. I didn't dare say. That was yeah. really awkward not knowing her name. Like if, if someone tells you your name and then like you forget and then it's like... I <laughs> know. Oh, but the main thing is to like just say straight away. Yeah. Before it gets out of hand. Oh, I finished mine, girls. That's really delicious. Mm. Probably gonna have some berry cereal for dessert. Yeah. Berry cereal, cereal, by the way, guys and girls, is is a bowl of frozen berries. Well, this is our version, isn't it? You pour loads of frozen berries in a bowl and then pour a vegan protein shake over it, which is like the milk, and it's really delicious. It's a nice, healthy dessert. After, mm -hmm. Especially after having chips and burger. Are you alright in there, Sienna? Yeah. You're nearly finished. You're gonna be the last one, Mia. You need a hand with that burger? <laughs> I always say it to me, like, oh, I'm up her feed. I'm terrible like that. If I notice people are eating slowly, like they're well, gonna get preyed upon. I ate a whole burger. Did you? Yeah. Wow, well, well done. You did walk three miles today, haven't you? Mm -hmm. After school, was it three miles or two mile walk from your school? I think it's like a two mile walk. Mm -hmm. Covered in ketchup. Ah, uh, it's a really sunny day here, guys. So I apologise about all well, the lighting in here. It's gone a little bit like stripey, but outside, yeah. literally, it is really hot. It's like middle of January or the beginning of January. Really hot. Yeah. People are playing volleyball out there. I really want to get out on the beach and just yeah, have a little lay down. Yeah, while we're waiting for people having yeah. love, love this While we're waiting mm -hmm. for me come, to come back to school, Dad just had his top off and he's sitting up there. there oh, doing pardon Spanish. you. Yeah, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's learning, Darren was learning Spanish on the balcony and with his top off, like literally managed to like someday. First of all, guys, before we go, I really got a little announcement to make. Over the next few days, or over sometime next week, we're going to make a special video, like a Q&A style, but a Q&A with a twist. Because I noticed lots of other YouTubers, they make videos called Never Have I Ever, mm -hmm. where you get asked questions, where you ask us questions of a situation, a scenario, and we have to answer, have we, have, have I, 
yes I have or no I haven't to, to a question. So leave your questions underneath this video for the future never have I ever video. It sounds really good fun. Like for instance, you could ask us like, have you ever accidentally sat on a tomato and squashed it before? <laughs> Like, or have you ever <laughs> have you ever accidentally like passed wind or forward slash fired, whatever you like to say, in front of your teacher or something like that? You can ask them, but just make sure that they're like family friendly <coughs> questions. Not because I noticed that some YouTubers have like X rated versions. Obviously, as a family, you can't answer them, but make they can be cheeky and fun. They don't have to be serious. Make them really funny and random and hilarious, but just make them suitable for all ages. Obviously, I'll do an example. Yeah. Have you ever pooed yourself in on your teacher's hand? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So if you haven't ever heard of a never have I ever um video, just search on YouTube for it and there's loads of videos of it and pe like, people get asked really funny questions. It just seems a really fun video to make, doesn't it, girls? Yeah. I'd really love to enjoy that. And I really can't wait to hear what their answers are to things and also Darren's as well, so that'd be really good. So leave your never have I ever questions underneath this video or even on our Instagram account when I announce it on there as well, which will probably be like sometime this weekend, but I'm really excited for that, aren't you? Mm -hmm. We've got loads of exciting things happening this weekend as well, which I'm not going to talk about. So now we are just literally waiting for you, aren't we? <laughs> Don't rush too much, I want you to enjoy that. So literally, that was a really delicious dinner, wasn't it? Keep, keep doing. That was really delicious. Mm. That is really delicious. Is that what I was doing? Yeah. <laughs> you know it's a good meal when you're just licking your lips. Smacking your lips. It's so enjoyable. <laughs> you sound like a horse's hooves. <laughs> just sound. I actually think I can um, change the brightness a little bit. Oh, that might make it better. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> fell off my bolster cushion. <laughs> Is that a funny one? Bolster? <laughs> Gummy. Look at I love Sienna Slash. She's like, bolster cushion. Aww. You still got a little baby now. That burger's just funny. so, you're just having it it's hanging there in my face. <laughs> in the bin. She's just hanging it there in my face. It's so teasing. Actually, now it's gone too, too dark. Papa Is that too bright you now? Oh, I don't know. So they don't go, oh little Papadino, you can bring him over. He can, Papadino can come in the book, bang. Papadino is a dinosaur here. Hello. He got oh, such a long neck, hasn't he? Yeah, but he's uh he's a herbivore. Hello. <laughs> Hello. What did you say? Saucers? Barbecue sauce will be your best friend. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah. Here's the weird eater Mia is. Weird eater. You've probably seen Mia eat sometimes. She always if it's something hot, but it's not that hot, she still has to go. Don't you? Don't you? It's so weird. It's so weird. But I'm like that. When I open a book up, I always have to or a magazine, I always have to smell the pages. I love the smell of pages. And have you got anything weird that you do? Uh. Anything weird that you do? Oh, ripping up paper and tissue. <laughs> No, I'm going to try something even weirder. Yeah? Should I do? Yeah. What? Oh, a little bum wicker. <laughs> she loves doing that. And then you sang that little line out of um, um, Sing, didn't you? Is that that Phil would sing? Yeah. You know, the rabbits. They go, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> she started doing that and singing. That's well funny, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. It was funny. She just suddenly ran and came out with her. <gasps> Have you got any weird things that you do as well, guys? That'd be quite fun to know. Mm -hmm. Like oh. a really weird little habit. What does Dad do? Can you think of something with Dad? He does that. Sometimes he does that thing, doesn't he? You know when he's such a breathe, he breathes for a bit of fun sometimes, doesn't he? Uh, hmm. You two both itch all the time. You can't say it's just Dad's only habit. Dad's got loads of weird habits, but I think everybody, we all have. When you live with somebody, you get to really get to know them and their weird habits. And sometimes those weird habits can be really annoying. Weird what Dad does. Yeah. He, when he cries, he never has tears. <laughs> he doesn't, that's because he does, he's probably not crying. I don't know what you're about. Dad told me that, and that is something weird, and that is true. He, when he cries, he never has tears. Yeah! I don't think you've ever seen him cry. <laughs> but that means he's either lying or joking. He's probably joking. Well, he always tells me 
on the tooth for me, aren't I? Yeah, he's just having a joke. He's probably winding you up soon. He's had a little tease. So remember, if you've got any never have I ever questions, leave them below in the <laughs> comments section. And we'll make this video as soon as possible. <laughs> really looking forward to filming that. And we'd just like to say thank you so much for sitting down and watching our mukbang. And if you mm -hmm. had anything delicious, I hope you enjoyed it while you're watching. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you tomorrow in our next vlog. So thank you for watching.